My name is Alyssa, I am a freshman, first year student, and I'm a biomedical sciences major. My name is Leah, I'm a first year, and I'm a nursing major and Spanish minor. My name is Katie Shuddy, I'm a first year at Xavier, and I'm a nursing major. My name is Megan Cook, I'm also a first year, and I'm a health services administration major. So for me, living away from home for the first time was definitely an adjustment at first, but I think I was always very excited to like kind of have some time on my own and have like my own living space. So after like the first two weeks, I was like very adjusted and now we don't want to move out, so. <laughs> the first month for me was a little rough just being like homesick and figuring out my new life. But after the first month, you definitely adjust and get used to it. So having a roommate in college is definitely something that you have to adjust to. Um, for us, I think it definitely required communication at first, but now we're super close and we always know how to work out our issues. I grew up sharing a room, so I kind of had that experience already, but it's been different sharing a room with somebody else than who I've shared a room with for the last 18 years of my life. But I think it, again, is all based off communication. For me, having a roommate has been like the best thing ever because I have brothers, so um, it's been so nice to have a girl around finally. I don't know, I think me and Leah are very close, so it's been like really fun living together. Um, I think living with a roommate has been really fun as well because I also have a little brother. I've never had like a girl my age that I just like live with, and like, it's basically like living with like my sister and best friend, so it's a lot of fun. One important thing is like in the beginning of the school year, even maybe before you agree to having a roommate, figure out maybe when you like to go to bed, when you like to wake up so that you guys are, you know, it'd be bad if one person likes to go to bed at 8 and one person likes to go to bed at 1am. It's definitely important to have a lot of the same interests as someone that you're living with, so I think taking that into consideration is really important before you decide who you're going to live with. I watched like YouTube videos online of like what you should bring and what you don't need and kind of like made a list so that was really helpful. There's a lot of like organizational stuff you don't figure you need because the drawers are big so once you kind of throw everything in there everything gets you know jumbled up so I think a lot of organizational stuff. For a while we didn't have any cleaning products so <laughs> we had to go buy some. It's something that like totally slipped our minds. Too. And then also like a reusable water bottle. I use mine every single day and it's like literally one of my favorite things. I would say you're definitely gonna love it a lot more than you think. At first it's really hard to imagine like taking all of your stuff and putting it into like a small room but you adjust so quickly and then it just becomes so normal. Definitely be open-minded to the experience. One of the things that we found fun was we went dorm shopping together. It just makes it a lot more exciting and something to look forward to. And when you're doing it with friends, it just becomes really good memories to look back on.